84 Olympic Toronto, it's the World Professional Arm Wrestling Championships. Today, Team USA goes against Team Canada. Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Inkle, and we have a different concept in this World Championship with a, some of the best wrestlers, arm wrestlers in the United States going against some of the very best in Canada. And when we're talking about champions, I'd like to introduce my colleague who'll be working with me, and that's Gene Taddy. Gene, you won a championship last year. When you get into something like this, what do you do? Do you prepare a little differently? Just a little different. This is the World Championships. It's one shot last. Today's the day. All the preparation comes together. Your psych, your technique, and this is it. Let me touch on psych. Paul Cicchini, I think, is probably a graphic example of a guy who I think intimidates his opponent by looking at him. He seems to be in a catatonic state. Is this for real? It's for real. He's the best uh, there is in that particular aspect of, of psych. And he uses it well, and uh, that's why he's a world champion. What do you do, shut out everything, exclude everything around you? He certainly does. And uh, any little distraction, like when I was arm wrestling, uh, any little distraction at all uh, could, could be fatal for you, and uh, he uses it well. Well, right, let me talk about the United States arm wrestlers. Uh, before, it used to be uh, just a fait accompli that they'd come in here, and they would just win championship after championship. Yet. In the past few years, Canadian arm wrestlers have come back, and they have proved themselves more than adequate in dealing with U.S. competitors. What's happened? I'll tell you, it's, it's because of the, uh, the tournaments we've had here in Canada, uh, the, the promoting of it. We're, we're going to do it four years consecutively, the World Championship trophy, and uh, we can do it again this year. All right. Let's see how they make out, because we're going to our first bout right now. All right, we're into the semifinals now. The featherweight division, Paul Cicchini on the left, Canada. His opponent, Wayne Burns of Camdenton, Missouri, on the right. Cicchini doesn't even know he's there. He sees the arm, he's going to grab it, and he's going to try to get it down as quickly as he possibly can. Paul Cicchini psychs himself up more better than anybody I've ever seen in this sport. He uses it well. I'll tell you, he's the best at it. Cicchini, the defending world champion. And he knows all the tricks in this demanding sport. Yeah. Got the strength, technique. And I guess if you've been there, Gene, you can handle the pressure. I'm not so sure that uh, Wayne Burns has been in that many competitions. Look at Cicchini. Cicchini's wrist is so strong, he just plays with the guy. It's unbelievable. I trained with him for four years. This is our second semifinal. Serge Yusero, the Canadian, against uh, Kevin Bender. Bender, of course, from Davenport, Iowa, representing the United States, who lead Team Canada 42 to 40 at this particular juncture. Bender, I think, was a, sort of a surprise winner in his quarterfinal match. Very strong. Look at the shoes on Serge Yusero from Quebec. He's a Canadian on the right. His opponent, Kevin Bender, from the United States, from Davenport, Iowa, on the left. Uh, Bender doesn't have the shoes. He was a road does, so. I think he left. needs him. He's on his tiptoes. Yeah, just about. Yes, if he could have got a shot there, you'd see he's on his tiptoes. Ready, go! But both of them are go. pretty good arm wrestlers. He had Yusero. Does it in quickly. So, Serge Yusero moves into the final against Paul Cicchini. Of Canada, two Canadians in the finals of the featherweight division. Team Canada then moves into a tie with Team USA at 42. We are going for the fifth time in this match, and we have a lot of controversy. Gardner on the right, Stoppard on the left. Uh, they each have a foul assessed against them now. So if anybody fouls on this time, they're history. That's right. I think they've each got a foul and a warning each. Phil Stoppard from Barry, Ontario on the left. Mark Gardner on the top. This is, a, a, you know, if you want a two people evenly matched, this is it. And again, we go to that same type of, of, of pull. Stoppard trying to get the advantage on Gardner. Gardner trying to get that straight up right. You're right, Bill. Uh, Stoppard has slowed down considerably off the go. Oh, he's, you can probably hear him grunting, and he's trying to 
to use the surprise I element with a sudden that. See? <laughs> he is moving. Somebody is moving the elbow. They've got to stay in. And Gardner is awarded the match. Gardner is awarded the match over Phil Stoppard. So, Mark Gardner's the winner. John Peters from the United States is on the left. He goes against the current Canadian champion, Kevin Kelly of Waterloo, Ontario. Peters is from Washington, D.C. And we've got ourselves a couple of competitors who know their way around when it comes to arm wrestling. Well, John Peters is a state champion, and uh, I'll tell you something. Kevin Kelly has really looked good here today. And as I get, again, I mentioned earlier, he's the fastest starter I've ever seen. They're both 26 years of age, so there is nothing in the way of age advantage. Kevin Kelly! Holy Toledo! Did he ever take Peters? Peters is wondering, what the heck happened? Yeah. That happened yeah. so quick. Lock of the United States on the left. He's, his opponent is Ed McKenney from Trout Creek, Ontario. Harlock from Grand Forks, North Dakota. He uh, he's a pretty tough cookie. But then Ed McKenney is no pushover either. Well, I think the Canadian team has to hope for uh, Ed McKenney to come through here because he's the only Canadian left in that class. McKenney, 24. Not a record. Narlock 25, and he's a plumber. Don't move your shoulder. You can hear the official admonishing Chuck Narlock for moving his shoulder. There you go. Go. Good start. Oh, McKenny. McKenny, has he got, has he got Narlock? Oh, this is a real tough one. Well, Chuck Narlock, I know him very well. I pulled against him in Vegas. And well, he. Wow. How about that? How about that? Ed McKenny. Ed McKenny. Uh, Trout Creek is the winner over Chuck Narlock, and that is a real big surprise. Look, watch this. Inside tight. Inside tight here, I'll tell you. And there goes the elbow. It's all over. Boy, I'll tell you, Ed McKenney just looking great. Ed McKenney is going to fight the survivor of this match between Bobby Motofuyoko of New York, Long Island on the right, and his opponent on the left is Tom Mackey from Maywood, Illinois. So we have uh, Bota Fuoco at 33 against Mackey, who is 25. And uh, we're going to have that Canadian U.S. competition in the final, regardless of how this one comes out. Mm -hmm. Bota Fuoco is the state champion, by the way. Uh, 6'1, 191. He's an auto body repairman, and Mackey is a firefighter in Chicago. You know, they want to get that grip. You see the advantage. Everybody wants the advantage. Bobby and Botafuoco. Oh, yeah, he's pretty close to getting Mackey. He's got him. Bobby Motofuoco is going to move in against Ed McKenney for the championship. We're in the light heavyweight division now. The semifinal, Jerry Chapman on the left from Claflin, Kansas. And he's against fellow countryman Pete Mills on the right from Dunmore, Pennsylvania. As we find out who's going to move into the championship final in this weight division. Mills uh, looks very effective. Sh Chapman, he, he looks like he's pretty nope. intent as well. Is he ever? Two of these contestants go. really look good all day today. And it looks oh, like Pete Mills. Yes. Peter Mills. Is that the winner of that one? Well, this is the way the draw turned. Now, Bill LaRose of Sudbury goes against George Gottschalk of Kitchener. Gottschalk on the left, LaRose on the right. So we have two Canadians in this one, as we had two Americans in the other semifinal matchup. This should be very, very interesting. George Gottschalk uh, on your left, uh, Canadian national champion, Bill LaRose, an up-and-coming, real tough 
competitor uh, from north of northern Ontario. You know, actually, Aurora was, was a was a dark horse coming into this competition. Not, not too much known of them. Well, you know, as they grip now, I mean, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's very, very important. Gottschalk and LaRose. LaRose on the right, Gottschalk on the left. Very good. Don't move. Don't move. LaRose is an overhead door go. installer. In go. Good start. And surveyor and Gottschalk. Of course, Gottschalk. I'm impressed. Yes. yes. And Gottschalk will move in to the championship final against Peter Mills. This is the women's lightweight division, and uh, Shelly Luca on the right has the shoes, and Marsha Monk on the left has the platform. You know, wearing those shoes, you have to have them specially made, because if you don't, your, your ankles will buckle, and uh, I guess Marsha feels a lot more secure on that uh, little podium that she's made up. These two competitors are from the United States. Springfield, Illinois is the home of Shelly Luca and Marsha Monk lives in Omaha, Nebraska. They've opened up their thumbs, locked their thumbs. The referee's doing all the work here. Okay. It's a good shot of, uh, of Marsha Monk. Come on. Ready, go. Go. Marsha Monk looks like she may have Luca. Inches away from pinning Shelly Luca. Yes, she's got it. Marsha Monk is the winner. Marsha Monk moves into the championship final in the women's lightweight division. The is uh, Canadian and American. Nancy Locke, a uh, young lady from Orléans, Ontario, and she's going against her opponent, Paula Glick, on the right. Paula Glick is a uh, young American lady from Plainsville, Kansas. I think uh, I think Nancy Locke has surprised a lot of people. She's very slight, but uh, boy, she can really arm wrestle. She certainly has, and she, again, she's a new face to, to me, and uh, again, I've been around for 12 years, and I haven't ever seen her in one of our competitions, and she's doing really well today. Okay, Nancy Locke hoping to move into the finals of this women's lightweight division. She's got to the semifinals. That has to be an accomplishment of sorts. Well, it's a do-or-die situation for Nancy here. She's the only Canadian left here at this... Uh, uh, lightweight division. It's a little bit of a an age differential. 17 years is how old Nancy Locke is. Don't move. Paula Glick is 33. Go. go. Oh, goodness. Wow. Nancy Locke is absolutely phenomenal. This young lady has gone into the finals. I can't believe how quick and how strong she is. All right, Sylvie Dufresne against her sister, Leanne Dufresne. Leanne is on the right, Sylvie on the left. This is an all-Canadian uh, match, the Women's Open. <laughs> well, what can you say about Leanne Dufresne? She's a world champion, and, and I think Sylvie understands that. Yes, I think she certainly thing, does. Yeah. And, uh, I'll tell you, we had a session not too long ago, and uh, Gary Goodrich had a tough time <laughs> pulling uh, Leanne. We have another match here with two Americans, Angie Parker. And Angie Parker is against Pam Goreski. Angie Parker on the left, Goreski on the right. Goreski from Springfield, Illinois, and Parker from Vienna, Missouri. Go! Angie Parker. Boy, that's a stalemate if I've ever seen one. That surely is. Well, you talk about uh, strength. Now, oh, Parker. Parker looks like she may have this one, Gene. She does. Yeah. Angie nice Parker will go in against Leanne Dufresne in the championship round. Angie Parker coming through with a victory over Pam Goreski. George Ludwigson, he's on the right from Brooklyn, New York, against Richard Barbe on the left. This is a second start for these two in the men's heavyweight division. Good shot of Barbe. Does he look like a poster boy? <laughs> oh, oh, wow, Barbe. very quickly. Barbe, very quick. Does he have Ludwigson? Ludwigson just holding that. And Barbe is the winner. 
Richard Barbe moves in to the championship round. Got the track of her hands and they're getting all set to go. Gary Goodrich. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, Andy Wolf, he gave me a hard time in Chicago two years ago. I'll tell you, Goodrich uh, is getting a real cult following. They, they like to, to compare him to Johnny Walker. And I think he wouldn't mind that comparison at all. Gary's wrist strength has improved considerably. It's just amazing what he's done. You know, funny enough, Gary only weighed in at 219. He elected to go the uh, the heavyweight class. See, there's a lot of there's a lot of this uh, badinage banter between officials and the competitors prior uh, actual pull. Wow. Oh, look at Gary Goodrich. That man is awesome. Gary Goodrich has assured an all-Canadian final against Richard Barbe, and that should be a dandy. Gary Goodrich.